Greetings to you beautiful Cancer. Thanks for tuning in and I hope that all is well with you. Let's take a look at your money message using our tarot cards and our oracle cards and divine intuition from yours truly. Alright, so the energy I'm picking up for you today is that love is about to be moving into your life more freely. In, because I feel like maybe there was a hold on love or something like that. But love is about to be more fluid in your life. Real love and true love. It's giving the energy of like maybe you, some truth, you found out some truth or someone is coming toward you with some truth. Um, that sets someone free like maybe some past person want to come back in your life And they think that yes, they are free to come and love you now because they have cleared up their name with something karmic that they were doing or This is your energy and somehow you've like blocked fully blocked a karmic connection and now love and now love is about to like move into your life fluidly freely abundantly someone like now feel like they can really move around and love you show you love so there could have been like a jealousy or someone in, in your life or in your person's life that was blocking the connection, a queen of wands energy. So this king of wands, this king of diamonds is about to move into your life. So someone wealthy, healthy, um, stable, all of that, healthy, real love, true love, maybe an earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or that is your energy where you can you you know feel efficient or sufficient enough to go out there and um, marry someone. Yeah, the first card is the Eight of Cups. Like I'm saying, love is moving toward you. Someone following their heart, or this is like you just being free to love. And I feel like I love you. I love the way you are. I love the way that you move. Turn up top. Turn up top. I really love you. I swear, like, whoever you are, I love you. I swear. You see this free love? Like, I feel whoever you are, I love you so much. I love your energy. I love the way you think. You may be a loner. I love that. You may be emotional. I love that about you. I love that you are connected to the moon. I love that you love to follow your heart. I love you. I, so, I love you so much. So that's how someone is seeing you. Someone just loves you really. Love. They love you truly. All right? so much love and you you are so full of love that you probably don't need anyone and that makes someone love you so much more so this is admiration and someone coming around to give you that someone wanting to like show you they love you i'm telling you someone is showing up maybe i'm more empress so maybe in your daily life you like you take it easy you're like a natural person you're very soulful you like to go on walks you know enjoy nature but you're really like the empress so imagine just adorning yourself in your empress or your emperor um attire because you're like a king and we now we're seeing you putting your your robe on your empress attire or your emperor attire i promise you that is the energy maybe at first we just so imagine we coming up on a a person standing by a water side and he wasn't dressed because he was in the water he or she right and we were having a conversation talking about this casual person that we just love so much and as they begin to put their clothes on we begin to see that this is the emperor the empress yes so all along you were really in love with someone natural for true or someone that is a natural wealthy person naturally like well-rounded the, the water earth fire air energy that is naturally you so we saying we love you this is why because you are the empress but at first we didn't see you that way we just saw you in your natural self that is why we love you that is why someone is loving you so much maybe you're not show off but you just love real things you love being by yourself you're, you're, you're not trying to impress anyone so when someone met you, they met you as your natural self right now. And then as they begin to admire you or pay more attention to you, spend more time with you, they see you becoming more of your empress self. That is why we love you. It's like we love you because you're natural and we love you because you're the empress or the emperor. We love you because you're so soulful and full of love and real. And that is what makes you the emperor and the empress but someone saw you without you being in your role so they love you for real and now they're beginning to understand understand why they love you like someone has fallen in love with you you see how much you've been saying it 
someone wants to give you all of their attention someone wants to say hold on stop listen just give me a chance because i feel like um like that energy of the person by the water side you're normally alone like you just ride a little white horse to the water side and you get off and you swim around a little bit even as a masculine feminine energy whatever you may be not talkative and you just love to dwell in these nature spaces okay the eight of swords i don't know what that is it's like maybe some truth coming out as well about because we did start off the reading by telling you that there was competition and there was like blockages in your love life there were lies so now you're being you're, there were spells too maybe sleeping beauty spells with the empress and the emperor or maybe some of you you just had karmic energies to deal with but now you're free to love now we are free someone is excited to know now that there are no barriers holding you back from being with them or from them coming to be with you someone is free someone was on lockup or something now they are free someone may be free now to see their youths to see their man their woman to go back to their business life someone is free to produce to create to be virile and fertile i'm telling you there's about to be connection closeness after some long distance some cords are being cut seven of wands and someone wanted like you had people competing with you aggressive people they saw that you were going higher and higher aspiring for more they saw that you were the real deal whosoever these seven of wands energy is and some of them were really jealous and malicious so they wanted to come at your throne maybe that is why you're such you keep yourself to yourself Ten of Swords, wow, in your love reading, Cancer. They lied. I don't know if you're going to want this person back in, in your life. The Ten of Swords is a lot that you've been through. I also feel some sadness or some downpression. So you are spending time healing yourself. But I'm telling you, the universe is sending someone because it is telling you that you are ready, you are prepared you may still feel like no i'm not so ready i'm still going through sadness and disappointment but universe is telling you you've done a lot of healing on yourself you are so ready you're about to fall in love you're gonna learn to love again or whatever and someone wants to give you the reason they want to make you believe and i'm so the universe is sending someone for you mm -hmm. i like it i kind of like it I like it. I like it because this this person will be just for you. They will be just enough or just just enough, just right for the energy that you will be in. All right, and this person they cannot stop thinking about you. This person they want you very badly. They need you. This person needs you to see them and to be get with the progress. They want you to get on board. This person is giving me desperate and they're like they can't wait anymore is the energy so someone is coming around to get you and the universe is sending this person they're tired of being in isolation they're tired of being away from you with only thoughts but no physical connection someone is wondering how you are doing it how you are doing how you are managing without them being where you are how can you like how are you doing it they can't hold out as long as you okay the sun that's the truth for real this person is showing up and this is your one this person is coming to make you love and fall in love and like bring back sunny days in your life when you thought you were in like the tennis or cloudy days Someone is about to bring such beautiful abundant prosperous energy in your life and this person cannot wait they just can't wait this could be a birth you could be having youths like i said fertility energy masculine feminine energy being parents someone cannot wait to come and tell you the truth someone cannot wait to like shine their love on you so that they can watch you bask in it someone wants to be your provider or someone wants to be the receiver of your provision masculine feminine someone is in love with you 
someone is like today you're going to be saying yes in love like a real celebration you're saying yes things turning out you're gonna get what you want you're gonna feel so accomplished and you're all you're just even in you loving yourself it's so beautiful sometimes you may feel alone but you're not you're not alone there's so many different energies and spirits around you watching you taking note of you appreciating you admiring you i'm just telling you so much love and someone wanting to marry you you may be trying to avoid this union but someone and there's the past energy of a person that does not want to separate from you they're coming back to get you but you keep moving forward and forward from this person you keep separating yourself each time they come closer you distance yourself more all right so that person is upset because they cannot get into connection with you which is right yeah, do you keep preserving your energy, loving yourself? You could be making some money, receiving some money today, or spending money on yourself. You're going to be feeling good, confident, um, stable. Your standards are up. You're taking care of yourself. You're going to be feeling good about yourself today. And about the investments that you made or and make, continue to make in your life forward. I love it so much. Now someone just really wants you. Someone is like marriage is on their mind. This person cannot stop thinking about you. Look again another ten of swords. We have two of them in this deck. This person they're pretending that everything is fine. Or they're trying to control their feelings. But they cannot. And I'm telling you with the two ten of swords is a past person feeling this way and a new person. The new person, they just can't wait for you to give them that go-ahead, like, give me the baton, tag me, it's my time <laughs> to come in. They may want you to stop talking about the past person, um, stop talking, thinking about them, or for the past person to really get over you. Because there's this past person that they just cannot get over you, they just don't want to let you go yet. So it's like your new person is waiting for your past person to figure out their lessons from you and just move on from you, right? So people are really impatient. You are just in this good energy where you are attracting good things to you because you keep working on yourself and loving yourself, paying attention to your intuition, speaking your truth and going after your best self. It's not always perfect, but when you need guidance, the spirits are here for you. Look at this sun card. There were so many lies behind your back as well, cheating and stealing. And this maybe this past person they want to come around and give you that confession or those in, that information because they think now that um they should they should clear the air. And but you're not really asking for it. It is just by divine will. Look at you. Five of Wands, competition. You're just not in this into this right now. But if you want to, you will go in it and you will come out victorious. Yes, you do. If you have to go in this drama and all of this, you will go in and you will tear, tear it up and come out as the last one standing. But maybe you're not interested. We're going to leave that dear love messages. We'll take some more maybe when we go live on the channel. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one. All is well. All is with you. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Have a beautiful day. Remember you're saying yesterday and it is about love. Um, something that is exciting, fulfilling, it's abundance, it's confirmation. It may be a text message. Um, it could be a message that something is over or a message that you were right. That something new is coming through for you. Like I feel you were right to follow your heart. Maybe and distance yourself or to wait on what is yours because it's so much better than you expected and you had to like create your own standards you know it's like you had to write your own story create your own identity and it works out in your favor so bless up yourself like share comment subscribe much love